Hi, my name is Benito, a PhD student right here in the Life Sciences Department in Bristol. I spend my time studying the brains of a remarkable group of butterflies native to the Amazon rainforest, which is pretty random, I'll give you that. So how did I end up doing something so specific and unusual? Well, in order to answer that, we need to go back in time to 2014, the year where Germany won the World Cup, the year where people were putting buckets of ice on their heads. One, two, three. Right, hold myself together, hold myself together, bye. And the year that this was number one. You know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. <sighs> Those were the days. In 2014, I was in exactly the same position as you guys are in now. I was about to start my undergraduate biology degree right here at the University of Bristol. I was excited, but also quite nervous, and to be honest, totally clueless about what a biology degree consisted of. If you feel the same, then honestly, that's completely normal. How a degree operates will soon become clear to you over the course of your first year. However, given the current pandemic and social distancing restrictions, one thing which will be slightly more difficult to grasp is the amazing facilities that are available to you right here in the Life Sciences Building. What are you looking at? Now, as a postgraduate researcher, I'm allowed to come into the building for essential lab work. So, I thought I'd make use of my accessibility privileges and give you a whistle-stop tour of some of the amazing things that go on here. One of the things which sets the Life Sciences Building apart from any other department is just how new and modern it is. It was opened in 2014, the same year that I came here to Bristol, by none other than Sir David Attenborough himself. And whilst he was here, he gave an inspiring speech to some of the first-year undergraduates of the time. But not including me! <laughs> but of course, state-of-the-art facilities also mean state-of-the-art teaching and research. And I'm here in the atrium at the moment, the central gathering area of the building. A place for gossiping, chatting and busting a few moves in the staff Christmas party. But just along here are the teaching labs and here is where, under normal circumstances, you would spend a lot of time. Let me show you around. As you can see, this room is designed to cater for humongous amounts of students. In fact, it's one of the biggest teaching laboratories found anywhere in the country. And because the lab is so spacious, it's perfect for face-to-face -face sessions, even during a global pandemic. Let's move on then. But alongside this, we've also got a state-of-the-art computer room, state-of-the-art pods for independent study, state-of-the-art roof terrace, state-of-the-art colleagues, state-of-the-art hand sanitizer, state-of-the-art climbing plants, state-of-the-art carpet, state-of-the-art social distancing, state-of-the-art gorilla, state-of-the-art calcium chloride and state-of-the-art platypus. But of course, the star of the show are the labs. This is my lab, which I share with the other people in my research group, and it contains everything I need to conduct my butterfly research effectively, but also safely, especially in times such as these, where safety is of the utmost importance. Oh, look what this But as amazing as all this stuff is, it still doesn't properly explain why I was motivated enough to spend an extra four years to do a PhD here. Well, ultimately, that was thanks to the amazing teaching by the people who live in these ferry offices. Here in Bristol, we've got people who teach in a wide variety of biological areas, from virology to evolutionary biology, from animal behaviour to plant physiology. All of these people are right at the top of their research game, which means over the course of your time here, you're going to be learning about research which is right at the cusp of human knowledge. And it was this realisation, the idea that there was so much of the natural world that is left to be explored, that convinced me to do a Masters and eventually a PhD in this incredible department. 
As you start your degrees amidst the global pandemic, you might be forgiven for thinking that your experience of biology at Bristol won't be as fulfilling as mine, but I don't think that's the case at all. After all, the same inspiring people are going to be teaching you, and I've witnessed firsthand the efforts that they have gone to to make the online learning platform as interactive as possible. So all I would say is engage with your subject from the get-go, stay motivated, and reach out if you need help. If you do all of that, then I'm sure you're going to have an amazing time. Oh, shit. Here at Bristol, we have lecturers that specialise in a wide variety of But of course, special. <laughs> How is it? Very good, very good. Uh, I hope you worked out.